welcome to your reading for the second week of April. I'm Miss Edie. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So much love and light always, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. This is going to be for the week of April 8 to the 16. Of course, please feel free if you're new, check back, look at the folders for whatever videos you want to see. You could cross watch on your crushes too. But this is going to be, uh, if you go through the folders, and um, any of the titles resonate, then that's meant for you. So don't focus on the dates because energy is fluid. This may or may not be for you. It might not even be for right now. And for other parts as well, this can also be, um, you know, you could be cross watching on your person as well. So don't forget to check what your crush is up to as well. <laughs> Let's just see if there's any other messages from the romance angels. Anything else? Oh my gosh, too many, but. Okay, we got a couple. Let's see if there's one more that wants to come out. All right, beautiful. Okay, so the energies that you have with the Romance Angels is flirt, which is a beautiful, fun, playful energy. So go ahead and just be yourself, Aquarius. You're kind of coming into a very powerful time right now as well. So extend your lighthearted energies to others. Just be like for some of you, if you've been feeling very dragged and low and kind of like through the ringer, I feel like for many of you, you're going to be getting this beautiful light energy and you're just going to be so excited to share this with the people around you and you're going to be in a better mood. You could be flirting with your crush or they could be flirting with you as well. Here we also have have the you deserve love you are lovable so just be in that beautiful energy it's okay to put yourself out there in fact maybe some of you need a little practice <laughs> so here with this it's a cupid's arrow being shot so someone could all of a sudden you say the one thing and they're like what or someone says the one thing to you and all of a sudden you're like okay i see you <laughs> we have deception Ooh, but this one someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship so I feel like for some of you you know you might have stronger feelings for this person than you're letting on or they do and I feel like some of them might be being a little flirty with you this week they might be kind of conversations are kind of you know growing and getting more intense and for many of you the deception is just that the emotions that they feel for you are far stronger and the connection is very powerful because we have past life connection here relate sorry past life relationship you have known each other before so that's why all of a sudden Sudden, there's like this instant connection possibly for many of you and this person's gonna talk to you and all of a sudden you're gonna be like oh my god okay why do I have why do I feel like this all of a sudden out of nowhere okay I'm using the ethereal vision deck this is a beautiful beautiful deck so let's see what the messages are for your second week of April ten of wands so it could be some burdens some things that have been kind of you know a little tough you've been going through really difficult time could be with your health as well and that is ending the cycle is ending because it is a 10 so you will be recovering if you've been under the weather I feel like for many of you too this is also kind of like the connection has been a little difficult it could be the circumstance we're all feeling kind of cooped up right now so just be positive and also do what your local government's telling you during this time I always advocate for you to be up to date but you don't have to stay in the negativity okay so that's why I'm playing some beautiful frequency therapy for you guys check out any and all of my playlists even personal development whatever you might need at this time I got it all I got you <laughs> here we go guys all right so ten of wands fire energy leo sagittarius or aries that you could be dealing with someone who is very passionate of course this can also just be that things have been very difficult of course the deception could be too that you know they're not being up front so they're kind of keeping it to themselves but holding on to this for so long is becoming very difficult for them of course in this connection they want to express this and that's being obvious with the knight of pentacles so i feel like that flirty message is going to be coming in you'll be hearing from them some form of communication again because I'm posting these a little later you might have already heard from them so just kind of maybe read back maybe you missed it because you were a little bit focused on your stuff and you didn't see this this energy earth energy Virgo Taurus or Capricorn but with the knight here with the helmet off it's very vulnerable very honest very open of course wanting a commitment wanting a connection wanting to get together um, depending what you can do right now don't <laughs> but for some of you of course you'll know what's best we have the nine of wands so of course someone could have blocked you someone could be putting up a big wall things could be a little difficult to communicate towards this person or to get into contact with them even um maybe of course with the wounded warrior here someone like i said could be getting over an illness could be getting better could have had something previous to the sickness that is kind of causing you to need this recovery time for others of you again the fire energy you could just be feeling really drained physically as well too there's just a lot of energy going on here but it could 
be a bit tough or for them because I feel like someone's kind of like walking away and this one's kind of like okay do I go after them with this offer like you know this could have been something that you've been going at back and forth for a while with this person so someone's definitely stuck in their head it could be air energy Libra Gemini or Aquarius that you're dealing with but this could be you too wondering like are they gonna come back should I bother giving this another chance should I try one more time but you do deserve love guys so I feel like if you're closing off with someone else you could be starting something new with someone but you're kind of trying to figure out if you should or shouldn't but because the connection with the lovers in the past life you guys have a very strong bond this is a mind body and soul connection could be a gemini could be just someone that you just have this beautiful feeling with and i feel like the deception is just that they're not expressing it you do deserve the love so you do deserve someone who's going to open up and tell you about this because this is keeping it in their thoughts trying to figure out how to come towards you to offer this right because here they are like do i come around and give them this they're wondering do i turn back and do i give this another try do we work on this do I or you're waiting for them with this so some of you are going to be waiting for that communication and it's going to be something about the commitment something about the passion between the both of you and kind of understanding what that desire is towards one another and it could be physical you could definitely be reuniting and celebrating with the three of cups energy this is also possibly about other options maybe you're kind of like well hold on because I have a few people coming towards me you could be getting communication from a uh, earth uh air and uh fire energy as well too they just want to communicate towards you see what's going on at the bottom we have the nine of cups so you guys are going to be really happy you could be definitely celebrating something of course aquarius you know there's a lot of beautiful things that could be happening in your environment so i was going to ask but i didn't ask the question yet so I feel like you're wondering if things are going to balance out and be equal, equal give and take, giving towards each other could be finances stabilizing for some of you because with the seven of swords, there could have been some stuff that you didn't know was going on, some hidden secrets with the moon here too, but I feel like you're kind of wondering are things going to even out because you haven't heard from them or they haven't come back towards you or you're kind of wondering where they are, but that could just be the deception with the deception card here it could just be that they're not being openly honest about how they feel. So you're left in that moon energy where you don't know okay so the question is how does your person feel towards you so this is how does the person cross watchers I'm outing you <laughs> I'm just kidding how does your person feel about you Aquarius it's nine of swords they could be losing sleep over you because they're trying to figure out how to tell you how to, how to come towards you they're you know anxiety stress even just missing you wondering how to move towards you or they're kind of still trying to figure out what this is because even they don't know so they're not deliberately being deceptive i feel like with the temperance here too they because this is the nine of swords so libra gemini or aquarius but with the temperance this could be sagittarius energy and this is about kind of coming into that balance of trying to figure out what is it that they're feeling because you do deserve love now they could want just a passionate connection with you just physical though we did have the earth energy so i know that they do want to have something stable and secure possibly even long term but right now they just want to let you know that they're interested but that was let's see what else is going to come out with the judgment so someone does really have to do some healing it could be because there might have you might have already been with this person yeah okay so how many of you are taking someone back with the death energy and the three of swords you could be feeling left out in the cold right now by this person they feel sorry this is them towards you so they do with you Oh, I saw something. Okay. So see, we had the Knight of Pentacles. This is the Page of Pentacles. They're sitting here trying to figure out how to come towards you, Aquarius. I told you. They have this beautiful offer they want to make to you. Could be something with work. Could be something just in general to like offer their commitment they want to let you know that they're thinking of you they want to let you know they're on their mind but they don't know how to do it how do i move towards my beautiful aquarius how do i express myself how do i overcome the fear of this or the worry or maybe they're going to reject me maybe they're scared you're not going to take them back because we did have all those tens so some of them might not even be able to get to you possibly maybe they can't communicate towards you because the judgment might be you might be rejecting some of them that might be the part of it because we have the three of swords I feel like whatever that they didn't express, the deception that they didn't tell you how they truly feel, because Cupid definitely hit them in the butt, because they know what this connection is. Even if they don't understand what it is, but they know that they're very drawn to you, and the heartbreak could be them choosing not to express that. The longer that they're holding back from talking to you, the more they're getting stuck in their head and the more pain it's causing them or you as well, because they could also be feeling like since they're not talking and expressing it to you, you could be flirting with other people. You're just doing your own thing, but they feel 
feel left out in the cold here. We do have a lot of people on the table now, Libra energy, air energy, death card is Scorpio energy. We also have the five of pentacles, more earth, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. This could be your finances. So if you've been a little bit tough with the money, like I said, this could be a new opportunity. This person wants to offer you a job as well. Could be someone that really cares about you. They want your finances to get into a better place as well. And I feel like if you're waiting to hear from this person, being left out in the cold is going to change because you might be communicating to them or they are to you. However, the energies apply, please take them. And of course, if it doesn't resonate, it's not your reading. So let's be happy for those that it is and hopefully if one of these will connect soon but this is a wish someone is really wishing for this to come together they're wishing for that person to accept them to take them back to talk you know if they're reaching out this could be someone from your past like not just past life but someone from really long time ago and you're gonna be a little bit like hesitant like why is this person popping up now and maybe you're being a little like standoffish with it like okay why are you here <laughs> where did you come from what do you want right <laughs> but I feel like for some of you they're just they don't know how to tell you that they they've had these very strong feelings for you and I think that's gonna be what they're gonna be expressing so let's see what the outcome is outcome for my beautiful Aquarius the chariot they're gonna come in fast you could be dealing with a cancer or a Pisces but this person is going to be expressing their emotions expressing you know the good and the bad so the good news could oh wow cup of ace mm -hmm. we have an ace in the house oh my god two aces I'm taking them all I am taking them all okay what is the burden that they're carrying the ten of swords again we're gonna have a new beginning here and I'm gonna tell you why. Hold on. They're gonna come rushing in because they have been juggling how to move towards you as we already saw. I feel like you could be getting several offers. You might, Aquarius, you might have a lot of options this month, okay? Who are you gonna choose? You're gonna be juggling between these two options. Could be earth energy, of course, water energy here with these ones. But someone is gonna give you something that you're really gonna consider because they wanna offer their cup of love to you. They wanna let you know how they truly feel. And all of a sudden you're gonna be like, whoa, whoa, they're serious. I didn't accept that wasn't what you were expecting. You were a little guarded, a little worried, and all of a sudden you're like, oh wait, what, you you have these feelings for me and they're that strong because they wanna have this new loving beginning with you. Could be someone from your past, some of you could be choosing between two options because then we have not just a love offer, but a very passionate love offer. And I feel like now you're confused. Now you could be dealing with a fire sign and a water sign where they just have a lot of love and a lot of passion for you. You could be choosing between something that's just a physical connection and something that's actually a very powerful connection. For some of you, again, the deception might be that you have someone else, but I, I don't feel that for everyone. But I feel like the deception is that the connection that they have for you, they're so magnetically drawn to you. And with the wands here, this is ending. <laughs> And under that is the king of wands might i add how passionate they are about you like this king of wands he definitely wants to give it to you he wants to end this separation between the two of you to have that why because you're looking so beautiful now the you deserve love part here like they almost look oh my gosh they almost look like they're wearing the same thing here that's kind of cool so you're tending to your stuff you're here you're busy you're in a stable secure beautiful environment you could be dealing again with an earth energy but this could just be how they see you tending to your things doing yourself you got yourself taken care of all on your own you don't even need them but you might want these opportunities with this person for some of you they've been really wondering how to come to you now they're wanting to offer that one pentacle that you're missing from the nine to make it ten so i feel like this person wants to come together with you while you're doing your thing they're still trying to figure out how to move towards you why because they want to have that stable future they see you like I feel like they're trying to figure out how to give you the offer to show you how much they care their feelings for you are far deeper than what they're expressing and I feel like they're wanting to come together now this is huge growth huge expansion huge commitment really coming together and with the king of Pentacles that is also telling you something secure stable long-term building a future together of course this again could do with the job this could be someone you work with this could be someone you're connected with in that way but you see this person and they see you as wanting to build a long-term commitment with you with love passion desire now you could have three separate offers from all these energies but I feel like for many of you this is a really passionate new beginning with someone so I'm really happy for you Aquarius have a beautiful blessed week love and light always see you guys soon and God bless bye